What's going on, everyone? Chris from PickDogs.com here with your free pick in the Chicago Cubs versus Milwaukee Brewers. Major League Baseball matchup going down Saturday, May 4th, 2024. Just a reminder, if you haven't already, make sure you're subscribed to our channel and smash that thumbs up. And if you're looking for my best bets, the games that I love, including my daily $19 best bet, make sure that you head on over to PickDogs.com and click the Premium Picks tab at the top of the page. Also, make sure you check out my 2024 Major League Baseball Grand Slam Season Pass. This is for the betters that are betting $1,000 or more per game on Major League Baseball this season. But what it's going to get you access to is the waiting and rating of my plays for the first time. You're going to be getting my big, you're, sorry, you're going to find out where my biggest bets on the board are. It's also going to get you access to my Nerfies and Nerfies and my first five plays, as well as plays I make throughout the day based on things like line moves, money moves, pitching changes, lineup changes. Right now, $1,000 unit betters are up over $12,000 so far this season. So if that sounds like something you're interested in, that's the kind of bankroll that you're working with. Text 775-636-7674. We'll get you some more information. But let's get to this one. Between the Chicago Cubs and the Milwaukee Brewers, the uh, the Chicago Cubs sending out Jamison Tyone to the mound here, while the uh, the Milwaukee Brewers will counter with the youngster, uh, Tobias Myers. And, um, you know, Myers has been okay, you know, through his first couple starts. Had one good start, one bad start. The good start, which, uh, you know, aligns with him here was on the road i mean it was five run excuse me five innings one run allowed on four hits it was a solo home run that he allowed but then last time out against a fairly tough yankee lineup gave up four runs on five hits a pair of home runs five strikeouts over five innings of work it was a game that the uh that the uh, the brewers ended up losing 15 to 5 uh but you know while myers gave up a few a few runs it was it was the bullpen that really let this team down uh, but now they get a matchup here against the Chicago Cubs team that has been fairly inconsistent in their own right. Now, they do get back home for this series after a seven-game road trip where they did go three and four. Had some uh, frustrating losses to settle, settle for the split against the New York Mets. Um, now, you sent Jameson Tyone to the mound here, and Tyone's been rock solid through his first three starts. Has allowed one earned run in each of the first three appearances. Um, but for me, I, I just I wonder if that's sustainable for Jameson Tyone. He's never really been that guy that consistently throws those kind of you know those kinds of darts and i just like i said i, I just don't know if it's going to be sustainable for him long term over the last over the first month of the season the last 30 days the chicago cubs you know uh, 23rd in baseball in team ops against right-handed pitching slightly better in terms of isolated power you know just around league average um but and even sorry even if you look at the other uh, batting average numbers for just outside the bottom five but it's the Milwaukee Brewers that have actually been the best team over the last month against right-handed pitching, leading baseball in in batting average, leading baseball in team OPS, you know, right up there in terms of isolated power, sitting in seventh. So I just think that it'll be a lot easier for the for the Brewers to get to Tyone than it will be maybe for the Cubs to get to Tobias Myers. And to be honest, I look at this matchup and I think this this game, even with this pitching matchup. Should be a coin flip. I think it should be minus 110 on both sides, maybe minus 115 on one, minus 105 on the other. But to get it, even any sort of plus money with the Milwaukee Brewers here, for me, it's, it's just, I think it's where the value is. You look at these two bullpens, neither one of them have been anything to write home about. The Brewers do have a slightly better bullpen numbers over the last 10 days. But, you know, I just think that overall, bullpens included, I think the Brewers are right now are just a better team. So I'm going to go with the Milwaukee Brewers and the plus money in this one. And that's going to be my free pick. But just a reminder, if you haven't already, make sure you're subscribed to our channel and smash that thumbs up. And if you're looking for my best bets, you can find those at PickDogs Premium. While you're at PickDogs, check out our betting tools. They're 100% free. They're the best betting tools in the business. And tools that you want to make sure that you have in your back pocket when you're making your best bets for the day's action. And while you're at our YouTube channel, make sure you have notifications turned on so you can be the first to be in the know when the newest content drops here at PickDogs. Thanks for watching. See you guys soon.